<laughs> Monica, your butt is like. It doesn't fit in a chair. I told you, I'm thick. No, it doesn't. <laughs> they don't know I'm thick. Okay. Where's my pictures? If anything is stressful, it is not only having a hundred bad selfies, it's having a hundred good ones. Because how do you choose from that? Like, how do you tell all your babies that they all look good and you gotta choose what? Well, how many the gallery allows you to have? Like, ten? Bienvenidos, muses. I guess I can go through video. Today's video, I'm showing you, like, I think I'm gonna call myself Monica Catfish Channel. I have no shame in my game of exposing myself. I'm exposing all of my tricks on how I be snatching myself together. I be pulling myself together for the Instagram. You know, how I really be trying to like find potential in some of my really bad pictures. Like, I think it's important to look at your pictures at a distance, like step back and be like, does she have potential to be on Instagram, okay? I think we're a little too hard on ourselves, como viene para el Instagram. You know, like, we say, ew, my face looks crazy, but hey, have faith on the apps. Tenga fe en los apps, por favor, hello, that's what they're here for. Apps are here to help us through these times when you got your period and she decides to break you out in the middle of your forehead, como ahora mismo, or on your neck. You think, I'm, you think that's gonna stop me from, from, from showing us a photo on Instagram. Now when we have things like Facetune, you know what I'm saying? So I wanna share with you guys how I do certain things because I know some people in my family who don't know anything about Facetune. And I'm like, <gasps> what you mean you don't know Facetune? Like, what are you talking about? All right, before anything, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. <coughs> I'm talking too much. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Y vamos a So I recently asked you guys on my Instagram about editing Instagram pictures and I was like, I know I did one, but I know I did one in the past before, but I figured let me do one now because like I feel cuter now, you know? And you know what's I you know what's pretty cool that when I did that video, I hit 100 k And a few of those apps I still use, but I want to share with you guys some techniques that I stole from my brother. And sometimes he tells me about myself and I have to listen because you know he's a photographer or whatever. And I like to make sure that I don't look crazy out in these streets. So si ustedes quieren a ver how I edit my Instagram pictures, how to look cute, how to catfish people, how to catfish your hairline, how to catfish everything. It siguen mirando the video. All right, muses. So first things first, what I am gonna do is I'm going, I'm gonna record my screen and my phone, of course, is dying. Dios mio. Okay. Hey. So la cosa primero que yo hago, I go into like my little photography section, and I just transferred a few pictures onto my um, onto my phone. Quick little like tip or or hacky thing if you have a camera y la camera tuya doesn't have a wi-fi kind of thing because you we ain't got coins like that not even my camera which is the 5d mark 3 has wi-fi i think only the mark 4 has wi-fi you take this thing i think i got it how much we got this for um at best buy huang it was like $30 at Best Buy, and you just put the memory card and you plug it into your phone. Take your digital camera anywhere you go, so no se tienen que preocupar, like, oh man, I have to hold, I tengo que esperar para mi casa to transfer the files and all that good stuff. No, you can literally just take the memory card, put it in here, put it in your phone, and you Gucci. So I had one take a, pic a few pictures of me. Now, you can either do this. You can use your phone, and these are a few of my phone pictures. Which I'm actually not mad at. Hold on. Okay, the hairline looks good. Damn, Wong, I like them better with the phone. Oh, it's Sipina. Oh, and these are the, as you can see, these are the 5D Mark III photos that I took with my camera. Ooh, face. Ah. All right, those are a little blurry. I'm, not, I'm gonna let him slide though, because this is just for y'all. First thing I wanna do is I go to the pictures that I really, really like, like this one. I'm gonna put a heart on that, cause I feel really cute. Ooh, I feel really cute in that one. Dang, I really feel cute in that one. Y'all like that one? Ooh, that's what, I think that one's gonna be cute. Hold on, let me see. You see, the iPhone 8 Plus, I have Juan take these pictures with his phone because I have the 7 Plus. I don't wanna talk about it right now. I'm actually in a really hard place in my life because um, nobody told me that the first batch of the 8 Plus and 8 were gonna be good. Like I didn't hear no complaints. We're gonna move on. This one, I think you guys will live for it because it's like I'm looking away. Who am I looking at? I don't really know who I'm looking at. Dang. All right. This one is, hold on. I think there's one that, hold on, Monica. I feel very like I should be in honey. Like, if I'm, I feel like I should be dancing. Ooh, muñeca. Oh, 
all this one makes me feel like I'm in honey. So this is the first photo que vamos a, tu sabes, we're gonna kind of like figure out what we're gonna do with her because she has potential. That's the key when you're doing, when you're yeah. editing your pictures on your Instagram, for your Instagram. Look at the picture and step back and say, does she have potential? Does she make it to the gram? That's a really serious question, you guys. Don't just say, oh, she's ugly, look at my zit. Because we can fix those things. Like, don't even trip. I got you. And always, step numero uno, always make sure that your brightness is up on your phone. Because one thing I hate when I am doing, when I am editing pictures on my phone is when I have my brightness low and I brighten my photo that I'm editing, and then by accident, you go on Instagram and you upload it, and the next thing you know, oh my God, you look so oversaturated. That's not gonna, I mean, so overexposed. You're gonna look really like amateur, and you don't wanna look amateur in these streets. Because if you're part of the Muse Familia, you're gonna be looking like you snatching wigs todo lo día. Okay. So, what we wanna do is, you wanna close up. Oh, Lord! You see this? I'm floored up. Look at this zit I have on my forehead. Okay, you see all that? We're gonna take the smooth feature. There's two smooths. Do not use the second smooth unless there's a really a lot of inflammation that, you know, your period came and she's like, hey girl, it's gonna be one of those months. Like that happens to me. Sometimes I have to do the smooth, the double smooth. Don't do two teardrops because you're gonna cry when you see how poreless and muñeca you look. Like you wanna look like a muñeca, but you don't wanna look fake. Face tune, I think now is like $3.99 or $2.99. Just spend the four, three dollars. I don't know how much it is because it's just really gonna save your life. Like, even right now, I need to do my eyebrows. Ooh, do my eyebrows. <laughs> do my eyebrows. You never want to forget, like, the center of your face. I do my hairline a little bit. Do your nose. And I also forget my neck. Juan hates this because I always forget my neck. No se te olvide el cuello. Okay, no se te olvide el cuello. All right, do you see that? Something's off with the left side because I didn't really feel like I didn't fill her in that good. Because that Juan being getting mad at me. But baby girl, you can't with me. Do you see her? Let me all right. So you go to the little cajita aquí abajo. And this is what I looked at before. This is what I look after. It's the same person. I just did like, you know. I just did a little something, something. Le, 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 le chin de como, you know, like a little sof, a sazon or, or adobo. This is me with adobo. This is me with just salt and pepper. Like, you know, salt and pepper. Like, with people who season their food with salt and pepper, that's nasty. This is me with adobo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So, terminate con tu smooth. Let's even smooth out the background because se me olvidó a planchar mi backdrop. Yo, that's such a pretty picture. I could legit die right now. All right. Also, no se te olvide, like if you have other parts of your body that's being exposed, smooth that out too. So todo se ve igual. Okay. And again, this picture was taken with an iPhone. What you want to do is you just take that little white and then you just put it on your teeth or on your eyes, whatever is being shown. You see how it just gave you like a, huh, what you were saying? That's what you want. You want to give them the the lusty eyes like when you give them that look when you give them that look let me see what else i be doing sometimes like when the hair be flat let me see can i do that to the hair hold on so if my hair be flat because sometimes the hair hair is hair whether you have a wig or not sometimes the hair is flat right so i like to do a little like what you were saying and make sure you don't move your face because that's the worst thing you could do is like make your face look crazy so you just get really close and you just give yourself a little bounce, but bounce, 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 bounce. All right, guys, después yo terminé. Like, so this is the before and this is after. What you were saying? Before, after. <laughs> oh no, se me olvidó el detalle. Take details. Y ahora you kind of like put a little sparkle. That lip, I want it to be a little bit more luscious. Okay, this pink. I want it to be pinker. I want to, I really want to look better. And with detail, you don't OD. You don't even put it, you could put it a little bit on the brows. You could put a little bit on the highlight. Oh, y'all gonna gag when I post this on Instagram tomorrow. Well, today, because it's when you've seen the video. Now we save it. Save it. And... Visco is one of my absolute most necessary apps to use because 
like I do this, maybe I should do this every Tuesday. Do you guys want me to do that where I do like a tech video? Because I'm really nerdy when it comes to certain things. All right, so I'm going to take that picture. As you can see, like this is where I use, where I do all my pictures. Because it just goes from like regular to everything. And that's what you want. You want everything. You don't want cute. You want you better get it you know that's what i be that's what i look for you guys you know like when you guys comment to me i literally be in my bed like y'all how can there be so many people who act like me like i thought i was weird because i was extra there's so many people in this world who are just as crazy as me my brother gave me a new nickname how you guys feel about this extronica i kind of here for it i'm kind of here for it like extronica it's like que tu eres siempre estás haciendo lo demás that's me extra okay a5 is the one I usually go to, right? But obviously that's not gonna work. So what we do is we drag her all the way down. Cause I like how A5 gives me like a blue tint to the hair. Wow. <laughs> so I really love this one because look, you can go literally from 12. That's too much, that's too much. Bring it down, bring it down a notch. We're gonna bring it down to like maybe, I like it right there. I like it right there I feel. Cause right there is too dark. But I just live for dark hair. Although I will be switching it up very soon. So stay very tuned. So I'm going to keep it at 2.1 maybe. I don't know if I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm going to do, I'm gonna do 2.0. Then we go to the little thingies aquí abajo. And me gusta since we soften. So one thing that I always have to do when I soften a picture. So your skin kind of looks again alive. Real skin has grainy stuff. Like all those little bumps that you will be softening. Those are real. That's real skin. Don't be like, even though I'm smoothing it, you still want to kind of like trick the eye to people and be like, oh my gosh, her skin is mad good. And be like, <laughs> face tune and grain from Visco. Okay, so we're going to go and take the grain and we're just going to add a little bit. I'm trying to see. Yeah, I think that's it. So I'm just going to add 0 0.7. And for my morenita, si tú tienes color como el mío, tu, el, piel, el color de tu piel es como el mío, blue is your best friend you want to add blues to your skin not too much but blues and you should be besties okay you have blue tones for your skin it complements us really well it brings out our yellows so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put blue we just put a little bit we just put a little bit let's put it at 0 0.3 all right almost out of bias Salvalo, actual size i'm gonna share with you guys why visco is so freaking dope so what you can do with visco is Let's add her. And if you're like, oh my gosh, you don't quiero do sabe, regla esa foto de, foto de nuevo. You don't want to edit that photo all over again. Let me tell you what Visco could do. You take that picture, right? You go to copy edit. You uncopy the other one and you paste that bad boy. Y tú terminaste. Mira. Ta-da. Are we cute? Or not? I said, are we cute? Or not? All right, we're still recording. All right. These are extra stuff. I, I did mention this in my new video, but I wanted to do a little update one for my friends who are new here. Okay, so we're gonna go in on open. That's the picture I just posted today. Well, yesterday when you see this video. And we're just gonna open that. And I go into last edit, which is the little thing, which is like, it's already like edited for you. I'm gonna go there. We're gonna go to tools, tune image, brighten it up a little bit. Then we're gonna, we don't have to contrast. Ambience, maybe, un poquito. And that's it. Then I'm going to go back into tools and I'm going to go into details. Structure, a bit, just a little bit. Sharpen it, just a little bit. And that's it. That's it, baby girl. You don't got to do them. You don't got to do too much. Although I just did like a lot. <laughs> All right. So this photo is, what I like to say, complete. So this was the before, and now this is the after. Another trick that I will share with you guys is this app called Retouch. So Retouch allows you to remove people from your backdrops or from the background. Like if you have somebody who photobombs you, you can literally eliminate them. Photobombing no mas, okay? So for example, if I have a bunch of strands in my hair that I can't seem to tame, we're going to go to the album and we're going to take the picture we just edited. You want to get rid of these, so what you do is line removal. What you were saying? Flyaways where? 
my hairstylist Shauna hates when I have flyaways everywhere. She'd be like, so you couldn't get rid of those flyaways? No. Nah. Even like your backdrops, you see all that? I don't want none of that wrinkle stuff. No, thank you. But I'm not really going to take away all these flyaways. I just wanted to show you guys that it really can remove people from your backdrops. Like, I thought I had one in my head. Yes, I did. So I brought them out and brought them back to the crib. Also, if you ma if you happen to have a wig and the lace really is not hitting for you, like, this wig is hitting for me. I think I might have, what the hell is that? I don't know what I did there. So what you do is you just, like, tap it once. Adios. I'm telling you, yo, I'm showing you guys how to do it. Or do I activate? Let's get rid of that zip. This gets rid of blemishes. All right. Hold on. I have a few like little rinkadinks things over here that is bothering me. All these flyaways, I don't know if I could fix this because I'm really things like this. I'm not molesting on me. So another thing you can do is you can go to this app called Afterlight. Now Afterlight is for a, it's a little bit more complicated, but I'll share with you guys how it looks. So we go to preview, right? That's me. <laughs> That's me. Okay. So we're gonna use that picture. And if you want, you can go to this little circle thing. Go to original. You can either make her black and white. Oh, she looks so bomb in black and white. But I'm not even going to lie. I don't really use this one that much. I just used her recently. And um, the recent picture that I posted on my Instagram where I was like posing with a striped shirt. And I made her look a little bit like 1992-ish. Another app that is really flipping amazing is... Perfect 365. Now, let's say that tu, tu, like you didn't like your lip color and your lips looked crazy. You wanted to enhance yourself a little bit more. And listen, I'm all about doing what makes you happy. So for those who are coming on here and it's like, oh my gosh, like why are you doing this? It's like, you're so fake. Okay. I'm the fakest, realest person you'll ever meet. This is for my girls who just, or my guys who just want to play. This is just for fun. Makeup is fun. It doesn't matter. So let's see that one you can od that's not what you you don't want to od because then people suck people are, people are gonna know that you did something extra to yourself that's not the that the best idea so you want to bring that down a notch and you can even pick the colors you guys like it's so dope you can pick the colors you want for your blush right i don't really want blush i think i'm good now let's do lips like let's say i wanted to do a different lip color lipstick you go to lipstick change the lip look Look at that. I'm giving you guys all the tea. All of it. I love the fact that you can do so much on apps now. And you can literally create yourself. Because it's just like makeup. Like nobody can tell you nothing. Makeup, apps. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to be this extra person that I've already knew was inside me. But you helped me kind of like bring her forward to the moon though. Another tip that you can do is you can go to Facetune number two. Yes, I'm, I'm giving you guys literally, I'm literally spilling you guys all the tea. So you took a picture and the angle wasn't the best, you know, like the angle looks a mess and you're like, oh my gosh, like it would have looked so much better because this angle is not my best angle. And you want to change the face like because you're like this. And that's not how you look. You know how you look. You know you look like this. So you want to, if you wanted to create a smile... Look at that. What you say? Why are you so mad? You know? Huh? Or if you wanted to either make your skin, face look skinny like that, like bring your jaw down a little bit and make your jaw, I guess, smaller is this one, bigger, or bring your jaw down a little bit more. You see? You shave it down a little bit. So it really all depends on what makes you feel comfortable. What I will suggest is do not change the, the face, your face. Like, Especially when you're in the beauty space, you don't want to look completely different when people look at you in real life and you're like, wasn't your face like really like small? Because when you take pictures of other people, uh, they ain't going to face tune you like you face tune you. So just keep it very modest. Keep it very minimal. Don't do the most. I only use this feature again when the, the angle is messed up and I'm like, oh, why did I do that? I really try to stay away from like anything that enhances or changes, literally can change how you look. 
I don't mind catfishing y'all, but I still want to look like me when y'all see me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to look like taller. I don't want to thicker. I don't want to look uh, slimmer. I want to look like myself because you guys are going to catch me on an off day when I'm going to the gym with no wig on, with my wig cap on, and y'all going to say hi, and I'm going to be like... And I'm going to be like, yo, this is how I look. You have to be comfortable with yourself. Like, I'm very comfortable in myself, with myself to, be, to go out with no wig on, like, makeup off. Like, I really, like, what you want me to do? I love YouTube and I love my platform, but at the end of the day, I have to make sure you guys understand that I'm a real person. And I do the same things you do. Like, if anything, I do probably a lot more. <laughs> All right, guys, I lo tienen. I share with you guys some easy tricks to slay on Instagram. I want to break down these tech videos, so maybe the next video I show you guys how to take pictures. Like what other tech videos, tech questions do you guys have when it comes to YouTube? Because I'm a nerd. Like, you say nerd, you know, like, comes to, like, technology, photos, equipment, all that stuff. Like, I love that stuff. So talk to me about it. Maybe we could do, like, a Tech Tuesday Something like News Tech Tuesday. It has to be sassy, so help me out with the names for Tuesday. Um, but I'll share with you guys everything. Like, I really have no shame in my game of sh exposing myself. I'm ex <sighs> What do you guys think about the photo? Did I do too much? Like, did I not look like myself? Like, if you saw that picture and you saw me, you'd be like, ooh, girl, you look crazy. I, I mean, it's fine. It's Okay, so I love you guys so much. You make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you're a part of the news familia and you haven't followed me on my Twitter and my Facebook, do so ahora mismo, okay? Porque lo quiero a todo. And yeah, I'm going to see you guys on my Instagram. When I post that picture, we just edited it together. And I love you guys. Lo veo en el próximo video. Adios.